again. Here's our first one, Haley. And here's Jeremiah. Michael McKinney. Jasmine Queen. Okay. Is someone asking something in the chat? Oh, you put it in here. Thanks, Joe. All right, so here's what we want to do now. I'm going to go through one at a time, and uh, we'll listen to each of you and see who is um, maybe agreeing with someone else, seeing what we have, and also seeing who is agreeing with any of the back information that I have. I think I have pretty good information on most of them. Jeremiah probably have the least amount of the four. Um, but let's start with Haley. And what are we what are we hearing and seeing? Um, I'll go. The, the first thing that Will said, he saw was snow for Haley. He said he saw snow. I saw a barn that was like red and white colors on it. So that was what I saw and what I, I heard the word barn and then I saw colors, red and white, like just like a typical barn mm -hmm. and will sit snow. Let's keep going. Um, I immediately heard depression and like confused. Um, also like easily deceived, like there's some kind of learning delay or something. Like I feel like there was like a luring 
that took place, but out of like being naive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I just wanted to cry. I just felt this welling up inside of me and wanted to cry when I saw her for the first time. Okay. Anyone else? I saw oh. her as nervous and I saw her biting her nails like she's in a very distraught state. I'll go. So I saw, I, I wrote down runaway, um, goth, like a bad crowd. Um, maybe not her typical crowd, but I just saw like, um, like a goth group that she got involved with in drugs was the four things I saw. Goth, bad group. Runaway, goth, bad crowd and drugs. Anyone else? All right, so here's the back information. Uh, she was last seen in Parma, Ohio, and she was wearing a hoodie, pink pajama pants, black frame glasses, which you can see carrying a black and red Jordan uh, backpack. And it says that she may be in need of medication. She has a scar on her leg as well. So I'm not sure if she's dealing with um, depression or confusion uh, that was stated, but it says that she may be in need of medication. Yeah. If you get something else while we're doing this, just uh, let me know. Okay. Um, I just got like bipolar hmm. I, I heard she's on the spectrum of some sort of some type of disorder um and i did hear drugs and depression as well earlier um so yeah she's a lot good this is interesting I'm going to go to um, Jeremiah. Anyone can go. Um, I saw a blue car and then a basketball. I got basketball as well. I had taken by a man um and then i kept feeling like deceased um but i wasn't sure if that was leading to the next person i also head down for that but those were the two things that i had while you guys are um, listening to someone else maybe at, continue to ask the holy spirit for more mm -hmm. um I heard that some he that he was taken, but and then he was he got involved with a gang of some sort to 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 feel like a family. And then Will heard Miami, tropical palm trees. So I got a uh, gang activity as well. Um, that he was involved with gang activity, trying to be, trying to fit in. Well, that's good. We have two. We have uh, two with gang activity and two with basketball. Um, let's continue to pray into that and see uh, if Holy Spirit will reveal some more information. As I said before, it's good when we have agreement. Uh, let's
let's go to the next one while we're doing that. Um, Michael McKinney. Yeah, I heard the word confusion. I heard that um, he saw something that he should not have. I um, heard like bar, like, you know, a bar that you drink in. And also um, walking, like I saw him walking down the street and like turning around, but I don't know what happened after that i didn't see anything else okay i uh, go ahead go ahead i'm sorry <laughs> i have had heard some type of mental issue as well could be schizophrenia or something like that where he's lost and escaped or walked away and will said will said escaped I had depression. Depression. That's right. I kept hearing like away from home. Um, and for some reason I kept thinking of, um, or what kept coming to me was like Las Vegas lights, like gambling scene, um, casino light type of thing. But then I kept seeing like an alleyway in that area. So, yeah. Right before you were speaking, I heard homeless. Like he's and he's living on the street. Will said he heard Las Vegas as well. That's two for Las Vegas. Uh, let's keep going. So I have, let me tell you the details I have on um, Jeremiah first, which I forgot. They're small, but. Uh, he was last seen in Cleveland, Ohio, and he, the only detail I have on him was that he has a tattoo on his right arm. He has a tattoo on his right arm. Um, with Michael McKinney, I have a little more. Don't do like me and pick pick someone with that little bit of information again. Not helpful. Okay, so Michael McKinney, uh, he was last seen in Fairfield Township, Ohio. His vehicle was located the next day at Houston Woods State Park in uh, uh, Preble County with some of his belongings inside. Uh, no clothing description or additional details are available at this time. He's pretty close to us as far as uh, living or where things happened at. Okay, we're going to go to Miss Jasmine Queen. I feel like I'm missing somebody, but um, I heard abused, and then I saw like a gang affiliation. Maybe her boyfriend. I'm not sure if it's her or her boyfriend. And then I saw her like as a money holder, like she was, you know how like the gang members will get a girl like they put her up in a safe house or something and she's the one that you know hides everything like i saw that i got run away but run away from like a situation that's bad because i see her running in panic and panting and looking behind her shoulder but trying to get away 
Yeah, so I got um, abducted outside, got in someone's car mistakenly. I got like false trust or um, like a false, you thought it was a friend, but it wasn't like a false trust, false friend. Um, and I also had down smoker. I don't know the relevance with that, but um, yeah, that was basically what I, what I got. And I got the same thing that she was deceived by mm -hmm. someone she trusted. So, and then I kind of saw her standing outside of, I don't know if it was a building or a house, but and it was like, it was like someone had reached out and told her to come on. Mm -hmm. And she went and she had on a, a jacket. It was a hoodie, like a green hoodie jacket mm -hmm. that zips up. Mm -hmm. uh, Will had uh, misled by an older man, older gentleman. And I had heard the word trafficking. Um, she was, you know, that, that's like what came to me, the word trafficking. She was abducted for maybe that purpose, but Will said older man. What you got? Jackie, I heard sex trade as well. What'd you hear? Sex trade. Yeah. I don't know what both of you just said. You said it at the same time. Sex trade. Sex trafficking. Trade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's talking? I don't see him on my screen. Oh, that's Dana. Okay. And what did you say, Amber? Sex trafficking. Yeah, I saw her <clears throat> like real disheveled. Okay. Um, okay. And one, two, three. Oh, I have one more I'm, I'm going to throw at you. I thought I had one more. Okay. This is good. Um, Let's read this Jasmine's backstory. She was last seen in Toledo, and she was wearing a tan shirt, gray pants, carrying a pink bag, and she has her nose pierced. Okay. Um... All right, so I have one more. I thought I had one more and couldn't find it. Found it, and her name is Raja. All right, here we go. Raja McQueen from Cleveland, Ohio.
Hmm? No, you can tell me first in a moment. All right, Amber's going to go first, and then I'll tell you what she says. All right, she heard abuse and neglect. Someone else. So the first thing I saw and heard was runner. But I also saw um, night or like early morning, like it was like dark out still um and then i heard attack like outside attacked something like that okay i i um heard beaten that was the first thing i heard that she was beaten but then later i heard contusion i heard drugs like date rape foul play murder Um, I heard drug trafficking and involvement in a bad with a bad crowd. Um, say that again, Karen. Uh, drug trafficking, mm -hmm. and then some type of involvement with a bad crowd. I heard drugs of some sort. I don't know if she was using the drugs or what. And I also heard the word rape. Okay, so a couple of you heard rape with Raja or, or date rape some form of rape. Um, the little information that I have on her is that uh, that she may be driving a 2018 Nissan Sentra with Ohio plate JGH3953. Okay. Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's go back into um, the couple that we had some congruency with that were paralleling information. Um, one was Jeremiah, where two people saw basketball, two people saw gang activity. Um, so we want to ask the Lord to give us more information. Um, you want to, and you can begin to even ask for some specific things like, um, what kind of car was involved? Um, what culture were the people that were involved? What age were the people that were involved? Um, uh, what location might he have been, um, picked up at or any of, any of that. So, Let's just ask the Holy Spirit to give um, some more information to the two of you who were um, just talking about those two things with Jeremiah. And then um, the next one, <clears throat> excuse me, then we have Michael McKinney. The two of you who saw him uh, with La in Las Vegas or saw Las Vegas, saw casinos, gambling, alleyway. Um, something that had to do with Las Vegas. I think it was Will and someone else. Uh, I want you to begin to ask Holy Spirit for additional information concerning Michael McKinney. Okay. And then um, the lady we just did, Raja. 
a couple of you had information given to you concerning rape, drugs, um, Let's ask Holy Spirit for additional information on Raja. And anyone else that you, you felt very strongly and still feel strongly about, um, just ask the Father for additional insight While you're doing that, I'll keep reviewing. So we had um, Haley, who she's wearing a hoodie, pink pajama pants, the black frame glasses that you see, and carrying a Jordan backpack, black and red. She has a scar on her leg, and she may be in need of medication. That's Haley, Jeremiah, he has a tattoo on his right arm. He's 15 years old, 130 pounds. And then Michael McKinney. His vehicle was found the next day in a park, a state park, with some of his belongings inside, but there's no clothing description or other information available on Michael McKinney at the moment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jasmine, uh, Jasmine, she was wearing a tan shirt and gray pants and carrying a pink bag. And she has her nose pierced. She's only 16 years old. With um, Jeremiah earlier, um, you know, Holy Spirit showed me a blue car. Um, I heard Chevy Malibu. But Jer Jeremiah, I, I heard the area, Shaker Heights. There's a Shaker Heights area in Cleveland. Ohio. So, and I and I heard like a schoolyard. I saw or saw like a schoolyard. I don't know if he had been being watched or he hung around there or something. But I heard Shaker Heights, Ohio. I found he was recruited in some way or like for, on a basketball court, he was playing basketball and then somehow he was approached and he got involved in a bad crowd or something um, because then it shifted to where I see like a gang house and I don't know if he's involved in anything with gangs or anything like that, but that's what I saw. This is good, guys. Um, mm -hmm. 
I saw um, basketball um, tattoo with the fire that coming out of it. It was a basketball man with fire. And I saw him with a black skull cap on it. And I can see him getting in a car, but he got in voluntarily because he knew the people he was going with. So you saw what, what was the second part? Him getting in the car. Right before that. Voluntarily, uh, a black skull cap. Black skull cap. Anyone else? Hearing, seeing, feeling. Okay, let's oh, see. Michael. Uh, um, Karen first and then Bonnie. Okay, for Michael, I felt these money problems. And I felt like he jumped ship. That was the word I heard. That he jumped ship? Yeah. I, I heard that from Michael too, but not jump ship. I saw him like just leaving his responsibilities, like with the gambling or whatever it is that he was doing, it was too overwhelming. So he just like almost like faked his missing. Like, I'm just going to leave everything here and go and nobody will know where I'm at. Like, like even like I see him owing people money and he didn't want to be found. He doesn't want to be found. And then with um, Haley, I saw her cutting herself, like she's doing self-harm. Yeah, I was getting something similar with um, Michael. Um, as far as um, just kind of like leaving his job or I don't know if he was let go of his job, but kind of just leaving things behind. Um, I was definitely getting that sense as well. Mm -hmm. I almost sense like he has some kind of military background or something where it's like, he knows how to survive, you know, like he could, he could make it on the streets. He knows how to, I don't know. I don't know if he was a Marine or something shortly, something like where he has, or like a hunter, like grew up hunting or something. It's just, I feel like he's a survivor. Like he just, he he could live in the elements and not be bothered. Mm-hmm. This is going to be really cold, but Norman and I both feel like he's dead. And it's not cold at all. Like we, I said that to him and he shook his head and agreed that that's, yeah. Yeah, anyone getting anything, for sure we can ask Holy Spirit, do we feel like they are alive or if we feel like they have... Uh, um, they're, they're deceased. Yeah, I had like initially, the first thing that I literally wrote down was deceased, but I kept kind of asking Holy Spirit about that because I feel like it's not that he's deceased, but that he um, wanted to kill his own identity is kind of where I was leaning into, but yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Holy Spirit, we just ask you to um, take us deeper into what you would like to reveal. 
deeper into each each one of these persons that are out there somewhere. You know where they are. You see them. You see whether they are bound or whether they are free, whether they are at their own will or whether they are being forced. You see the people that are around them. You see the con- you hear the conversations that are going on right now that have gone on. You know the intent of those that are around them. We ask you to uh, reveal further information concerning these people in front of us tonight. In Jesus' name. All right, we'll start with Haley again. Jeremiah. And then there's Michael McKinney and Jasmine Queen. And let's not forget Raja McQueen. Anyone have questions about what we are doing and um, any part of that? Don't you don't agree with this? Feeling like it's not biblical to do this. I just want to say I'm quite intrigued because I've heard Dano speak about this before, Dan McCullum, right. and it's something I've always been interested in. So um, I'm very interested to see how it pans out and what comes out of this because it's amazing how you'll get similar things, etc. So I'm really encouraged by it. Mm-hmm. I am too, Karen. Um... And I know, uh, Derek, you were saying she had red and uh, black in her bag. And I surely saw the colors red and white, but I saw it like in a barn. So just the fact that I saw that color red was it's like the Holy Haley. Spirit was highlighting. Yeah, Haley mm-hmm. for Haley. Yeah. And she could be confused and lost in this place or somewhere. Um, due to the issues that she has, but yeah, so Mm -hmm. I know Holy Spirit is, he knows. Yeah, I'm interested in in this too, Um, just the whole process of what we're doing and um, being, let's say, aware from one person to the next where you're not carrying over or allowing something to bleed into the next person where let's let me just use an example like one person person number one she's dealing with medical issues possibly because it said she needs some medication and then that imprints something in your mental capacity in your mind And then in the next person, you don't want to confine what Holy Spirit is saying to what you just heard about the last person. So it's it takes a sensitivity to um, hear and be still hearing, but start another conversation. If you could, if I could say it like that, and I think that's good because it trains us to. Um, to do to be fresh in the next thing 
to be fresh in another moment, uh, to be fresh with another circumstance and not uh, to be there's a there's a word for this but I can't remember the word and so but it the description is when you hear something in the news what they do is they will tell you something that they want you to look for and to believe before you hear or see the video so when you do see and hear um, you're you're a little more convinced about it because you heard something that they told you to look for. And it it, it works kind of like saying, um, it, it could be like this. We're going to have a brand new person come to our group and they're going to start, you know, next week. Um, but she's, uh, I'm going to, and I will call her a female. And so she's, this is just all made up, but, but she is, um, uh, bipolar and she may seem like she's confused a little bit uh, but but she but she's not and um, she may have some other issues that are going on in her in her life but we'll just we'll let her in the group and you know and so then it, when she comes into the group next week then immediately what you're doing is looking for things to confirm what I just said so then when she says something that's confusing or she says something that is kind of like, ah, you're not really sure about where her heart is with everything, then you start thinking, I'm not really sure if she's good for this group because she seems a little, you know, conflicting. Um, that's because I put that in your head. And so um, you're not really then discerning, you're just connecting the dots. And, and so this is one of those things where you're not able to connect the dots unless you get the dots from Holy Spirit. And we're saying, OK, what's the first thing you want to show me and how does it relate to the second thing that you're showing me or whatever that is. Right. And then I got to go to the next person and the whole board starts all over again of connecting the dots. And I need to be hearing, not based on the last, but hearing fresh based on what I'm seeing in front of me um, right now. Let's ask, let's do this. Let's ask Holy Spirit um, for a make and model or anything else about vehicles that could be involved. Now we know that um, with with Reja, <clears throat> we know that she was driving a, um, this one here, she was driving a Nissan Sentra, they possibly driving a 2018 Nissan Sentra, and it even has her op Ohio plate, okay? Um, Holy Spirit may give you a license. You may see a you may see the first part of a license number or anything like that. You may see um, what city, but but let's focus and ask Holy Spirit to give us that and see if we get any anything with any one of these and so let's just start i'll start with them um, start at the top with haley if there's a vehicle involved holy spirit we just ask you to reveal what vehicle is or was involved that would give the police a clue concerning haley as well as concerning Jeremiah and concerning Jasmine. We, we already know that Mr. McKinney, uh, his vehicle was found. The Holy Spirit may give you something in addition to that, but we know his vehicle was found the next day after he was reported missing at a state park. So if there's a location, Holy Spirit, we would love, we would love that. Mm. 
you see a pathway and a river and walking. For Jeremiah, I keep seeing like a black um, SUV, like a like a truck vehicle. For Jeremiah, you see a what kind of vehicle? A black SUV. Like a, um, not like an Escalade, but something like a, um, I don't know cars that well, but like a, like a, like a truck type mm -hmm. of car, you know what I mean? like a Ford Explorer. Mm -hmm. I believe so. <laughs> she she don't know. She just knows it's a truck. I know what it looks like. I could draw it for you, but I don't know <laughs> what it's called. I was seeing a white pickup truck for Haley. For Jasmine, I saw a red, some type of sports car, kind of flashy, um, but it was red in color. For McKinney, I saw him get on a bus. For Haley, I wasn't seeing a car, but I was seeing a house, like a, um, a white house, but like dingy porch and um, green and brown siding in the house. And for Haley too, I'm it's like I'm picking up a, a rural area, um, very rural, very, you know, way out somewhere. taking notes for all of these. Any other impressions on anyone? Seems a little weird to me, but for um, Jeremiah, I just like heard steroids or something. Like maybe they're giving him something to, I don't know. It's just, that seemed weird, but you said don't discount anything. So nope. don't 
don't discount anything. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put the links and my notes from each person. into the chat. <clears throat> For you. It doesn't want to paste. Well, I will get it in there somehow. I will, if not, I will get it to you in an email about that. I'll get it to you in an email. And then what we'll do is um, hold on to this. I'll hold on to this till next Tuesday. If the father gives you anything else, excuse me, in between that time, what we'll do is um, release it next Tuesday. Or you can send it an email by then. Right. Let's do that. You can send it an email by then. There'll be instructions in the email and you can just reply to that email with any additional information. Um, and then what I'll do with that that we have gathered here. Um, I'm going to just approach them and let them decide if they want to use the information or not. Okay. So I'll get a, I have phone numbers uh, for all of these. You'll actually see the phone numbers. Please don't call yourself and um, do any of that. I'll do that myself and handle it. Um, that way there's no weirdness or confusion. I'll do the calling. I'll do the contacting. But if you have any additional information you have until next Tuesday to add to this information, okay? Any questions about any of that? Comments? I don't know why it wouldn't let me do it the way I want it, but it wouldn't. All right. So I take this really serious because I know that um, there are people that are doing this. There are churches that are doing this. There are ministries that are doing this. And um, um, the ones that I know of right now are like in another country. <laughs> and um, I just feel like Holy Spirit is willing if we are available or avail ourselves to it. It's very it's I think it's very kingdom to do this because and man, if I if if one of my kids was lost, please, if you could be if you could prophesy and you got a word of knowledge or anything, please use it to find my child. Please use it to ask the father. Uh, what can you do to further us in finding out just just like we would when someone says, you know, I have pain in my body or I have this going on. And you hear the father say, oh, that's it's not this. It's that. So we're going to pray over this. And it's to me, it, it's all the same thing. It's not being a psychic. It's not being um, any of that uh, demonic stuff. It is or sorcery. It is asking Holy Spirit so that Jesus can be glorified. That's what we're doing. So, 
in case anything is going on in your heart or in your mind, uh, especially when we start saying, well, Father, what car? What color car is it? What kind of brand car is it? Uh, what is, you know, I would be doing that if it was my child. So I'm going to do it to help someone else. If it was your child, I would, God forbid, I would be helping to f try to figure out what it is just the same way that I would be doing and, and do when I'm praying over somebody that is sick. Um, I don't want to let the enemy have his way and think he can um, devise systems and works where we feel like they're off limits because they look different outside the church. Right. This is this is not a ministry in the church. This is a ministry for outside of the church. And uh, but yet we are the church. So I think when we like I always say, if you're Jordan, like Michael Jordan, then you can bring the whole team along and you can make the basket and we can all win the game. And uh, I think we have a lot of Jordans on our team. Um so we can go out and, you know, win the game for somebody and help somebody. And, you know, it doesn't mean we're wrong, won't be wrong in areas because we will be. But if it's this clue or that clue or a group of things that can help, then I want to at least submit it. And then they can decide what to do with it as they are investigating. It's one thing to know that there's so many people out there. But if you get some clues and these clues start aiding and helping you, uh, you may start listening. Every prophet um, uh, was familiarized with the king in the Old Testament. And that king knew that they, they, they would always find a prophet to call on and say, hey, before we go to battle, let's, let's at least talk to the prophet and find out if God is on our side <laughs> Uh, before we start, you know, marching and and finishing out our plans. And they would do that because a prophet would let them know the good, the bad, and the ugly, and then they would move accordingly. And so um, we even saw, you know, Trump had Paula White, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, but there was somebody, there was somebody there. And um, we saw with Reagan... Um, we hit that his wife was a psychic and well, his wife would call on a psychic and to get information so that she could relay it to, to him. And so this kind of stuff is not far. It's just, you, we don't always know and it goes, it goes on. And so we need righteousness and this is this is good. I appreciate everybody participating in it. I'm going to stop the recording and then let you guys ask some questions or something like that. And I'm going to let you go. This recording.